Hi there, Gemini. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm going to be doing your August 1st through the 15th love reading. This is for Gemini, the 1st through the 15th. <coughs> you think we should go with those? I think we should. There you are. I hadn't seen that. That's amazing. I love it when that happens. Very colorful. Look at that. This is the first week of August. All right. Looks like the first couple day or two in August. You're feeling very comfortable, content, um, at ease in your in your home life. You're just at ease. There's no worries. The first, second, you're follow. You've followed your intuition. You're you're feeling very. Um, knowledgeable you are knowledgeable um your intuition is on key you know on par whatever the word is you know it's right up there you know you you are seeing the situations completely clearly you have no confusion going on up there um Yeah, you're having very clear, vivid um, thoughts during this time, the first couple of days of August, all right? Um, there you are in the middle of the reading. Right next to you, we have a contentment. Could some kind of, um, maybe there's a commitment or a celebration of some sort. Um, and then at the end of the first week, we have some... Um, Sorrel, you know, we have some heartbreak at the end of the week. So it goes from the beginning of the week looking very, very good and bright and happy, butterflies and rainbows, to the end of the week feeling like, oh my God, uh, what the hell was that? So, um, hmm. Heartbreak. Okay. Um, you know, this right here is some kind of gathering. Maybe you, um, I'll well, we get some more cards. You know, maybe, maybe you're going to go to a funeral or something, I mean, or you're reminiscing about, I don't know, this is like grief. All right, there's a gathering, and this is like grief. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm just saying what I'm seeing. This is supposed to be a love reading, but it looks like, I mean, there's some kind of rejection, you know, after a gathering of some sort, which is usually a pretty positive gathering. You know, this can be any kind of gathering to honor somebody, all right? Um... And right after that gathering, there's this grief. So, you know, I don't know. Well, it could have something to do with somebody, you know, a funeral. I mean, I'm just going to say what I have to say. Okay. Um, but towards the beginning of the week, everything looks good. And your intuition is right up there. And you're just um, in tune. Okay. You're in tune with uh, your guides. All right. <coughs> Here you are. You're just here in this reading, being yourself. And... Um, being your mischievous, um, your dynamic, um, unexpected, nobody knows what's happening, you. <laughs> All right, you're just being yourself, everything's going great, probably on Wednesday, okay? And then, you know, there's something, you know, I don't know, I don't know, there's some kind of heartbreak at the end of the week. You know, there's some kind of contentment right here. Some, well, contentment, it's like a commitment where you honor somebody, you know, or it's a gathering where somebody's being honored, okay? It is, and there's grief after that. So, you know, there's something could happen at this event that you go to. It doesn't have to be a funeral. It can be anything, you know, and everything seems peachy, but then it caused some kind of 
<coughs> event that caused heart your heart to hurt okay just saying I mean we have to say what they what the cards say right this damn card comes up for everybody and you know it's about being too frivolous with your money too worried about your money it's kind of like insecurity you're secure but you feel insecure look at that we have two fours right there Okay. It looks like you're getting very, very close to finding a partner if you're single. If you are single, you are attracting. It's true. Like I was trying to explain who you were. While, you know, that's what you're doing. You are attracting your love Okay, this is like a true love. It is. Um, and you probably are manifesting it through your in intuition. Okay, I think you maybe you've been thinking about it a lot. You know, about how comfortable you guys could be or whoever it is or who you could be. You've been envisioning um, this great love. All right. You've been just thinking about it, thinking about it, and just waiting for it to come to fruition. You know, um... And I, I think that you have taken some steps to get there, okay? Um, I think that you have, or you are about to, because this is in August, you are about to let go of your need to control um, whatever is happening in your life. You're going to let go of the need to control something and step down and surrender. I mean, you're going to surrender to the universe or you're going to surrender to um, to the world. I mean, you're just going to surrender yourself. You're going to be like, okay, whatever happens, happens. I'm going to have faith now. I'm not going to hang here anymore. I'm going to have faith and, and maybe maybe there is somebody that can offer me this, this love. All right? But... Uh, you are gonna the fact of the matter is is that you are going to be presented with an unexpected choice in love you are you don't you don't expect it it's going to happen after you surrender the need to control it you know after you decide to step down and just let whatever happen happen you've taken the necessary steps that you could take to get there all right you have so there's i mean and now it's it's in the works okay some unexpected thing in love is coming and you are going to be magnetically drawn to it so that's just the way it is it's probably not who you expect or what you expect could be a taurus capricorn or virgo um and you could have contact with him with them at this gathering you know you could um I think you know who this person is, and I think you've been thinking about this person. Okay? I do. I think you've been thinking about this person, and, you know, your thoughts become things, and you've been manifesting this. Okay? But there's been some kind of resistance for some reason that there's been some kind of resistance. Um... I don't know, some kind of resistance, I think, regarding um, security and stability. You know what I mean? Your security and stability. Maybe you feel like you're not secure enough or you feel like you're not stable enough to um, communicate with this person. Now, this can be any sign, but it feels like you're feeling like you aren't good enough <laughs> I'm sorry to say that but that's what it feels like it feels like you are you feel like you aren't good enough <coughs> but you are okay um, here we have the world it's the last card in the deck this is means that you have learned so much 
so, so, so much. Now it's time to start a new journey. It's time to start over. You know, something, some major project of your life has just been completed. Some major life lesson, put it that way. You've just learned something big in your life, okay? Something that was um, on your your list, you know, when you came back to this earth has been checked off put it that way you you have just went through something major and now it's time to start over again and and um you have this is you've been manifesting it on your own you have this has been that you've been doing this on your own you're you have been very um highly intuitive you've been you've been speaking with the universe you've been speaking with your guides you've been telling them what you want and it's manifesting i see it i do okay um and now it's time for your new chapter it is it's time for your new new, new chapter um i think you're feeling insecure and i don't know why I wish that you could not feel insecure about yourself. I mean, you have so much to offer. Like I said, you're so dynamic. You are. You're so fun. Um, you have so, so many talents. So many. Probably more than any other sign. You do. I mean, you're the twins. You have so many talents. Please don't feel insecure about yourself. You're about to start a new chapter of your life. Okay? One karmic debt has been paid. And you, <laughs> you already know this. I mean, you already know everything because you're, you're very psychic at this time. You're going to be presented with an unexpected choice in love. You, you're just, or you're going to go towards somebody that you didn't think you ever would. Definitely, I think it's an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. I think that's your choice. That's, that's probably going to be the one that you are going to unite with if you're single. Oh, okay. So, the Six of Pentacles. Gifts of money, time, or effort. New career opportunities. Receiving a loan or paying off debts. Okay. This really, I mean, this is supposed to be a love reading, right? So this is the Six of Pentacles. This is about balancing out, okay? It's about balancing out a relationship. Because this is a love reading, okay? Equal. You know, I think that's what you're in the search for. The search of equality in a relationship. I mean, that's what you're looking for, right? There's, It's not... Um, 30 70 or 40 60 it's where it's 50 50 and i think that's what you're looking for i mean that's and that's what could be offered to you with this person you know you have to be open to it though you have to you have to surrender to your um fears okay you you, you do you have to let your fears go you do have there's no reason to feel insecure because you do have the um everything you need you have everything that you need to provide to this person to make them happy the only the biggest thing is is the only thing that you have to give them is your time time you have everything else you have everything else the only problem here is time this person wants your time okay they want your time so that's probably where the resistance is, is that you aren't, you don't have enough time for love. Do you? I mean, do you have enough time for love? It sure would be nice because, I mean, it could be like a soulmate. I mean, it could be a true love thing. You may be putting too much time into your into your work, and that's why the Six of Pentacles is here as well. That is why it's here. 
You aren't balancing things out. You're putting too much time into your work. Here we go. We got this Four of Wands again. Contentment, peace, and abundance. A happy home life. The successful completion of a project. It's also about a gathering where people get together to honor somebody. <laughs> All right. But you do have it here twice. So it looks like you're going to be feeling, you know, successful. I mean, you are. You're going to be feeling very successful with the choices that you've made. You followed your intuition. You're going to be feeling really, really good about it. There's still a major loss, okay? There's, there's some kind of loss up here. This is towards the end of the first week of August, okay? It could be anything, okay? But you're going to, it's going to, you know, hurt your heart, all right? It's going to hurt your heart. But you have the ability to heal your heart pretty quick because we have the Ace of Pentacles here. This is the gift of prosperity, uh, security, abundance, uh, manifestation, okay? So it goes from this, this hurt, grief, whatever it is, to a very, very positive card. And that's what you do. That's what you do. You can switch it just like that. Just like that. All right, so it goes to very positive, and now you're back on track, and you are building a new foundation again. It's like, okay, I'm going to start over again. You know what I mean? And that's what you do. You just start over again, and that's when you're, you have a brand new chapter that, that comes about. Um, your brand new chapter could be with a Taurus, Capricorn, or a Virgo. It could lead to a very beautiful union where you are equal should you give them equal amount of time that means should you choose to balance your work and your time with their love Make time for those around you. I'm just reading this one now. I'm not sure if I read it earlier. I don't think I did. It's funny. All that just came out of my mouth. Make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. That's a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo as well. That's pretty prominent. That's who it probably is going to be. Or somebody with a lot of that in their chart. A lot of earth in their chart. Eventually, it could lead to that. Can you even imagine? I bet you can because your intuition's been talking to you. Your dreams probably have been too, you know? You've been talking to the universe. They've been talking back. It's just been like nuts, you know? So I think you probably, you know, feel this coming. And if you don't, well, now you do. I think you're ready. Even if you haven't met the person yet, yeah, this is what's on your mind. This is. If you're already... Um, couple then this just reiterates you know this is a, that you are in the right relationship if you're already coupled and you're watching this that's what this says yes it was you're lucky damn lucky Now, you do feel insecure about something. I don't know why. You know, they are real. Don't be afraid. You're not, I don't think you're going to get rejected. Uh, that one's connected to that row. So that's pretty good. It's going to go right here so it's connected to this. I don't think that you are going to get rejected. I don't. I think that you can provide very nicely for this person. <laughs> And they can provide for you. And I think it's an equal equal thing. 
romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Don't be afraid. Please do not be afraid. Oh. It is. It is. It's either, you know, it doesn't even have to be past life. It, 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 there's a damn good chance it is. It, but it could be in this lifetime from a very long time ago. You know, you could have met this person long, long time ago. You know? Um, anyway, this says past life relationship. You have known each other before. You have. This is a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, or strong earth in their chart. Okay, and they might be able to, they do want to start this new chapter with you. So August 1st through the 15th. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? It does, I'm really happy about it. For you guys. Yeah, I like readings like this. I just did one for another sign, and I was halfway done. I had to turn it off because it was so bad. I mean, it was uh, it wasn't good. So I don't even know. I'm not gonna say who it is. So don't bother asking. And it wasn't me being negative. The reading was not good. And um, I'm so glad that this is a good one. I just said no. I was gonna do you guys first anyway, but I had put this other sign ahead for some reason, and it just. You know, it was an eerie little tale, so I had to, uh, I'm not going to share it. It's not going to happen, so don't even bother asking. Um, but, you know, I get so many energies that, you know, I have to go with what comes out of my mouth. And this may resonate with some and not for others. And this part over here where I see this gathering may only resonate for a little few. Okay, what I mean? Because so many different people watch this from different areas, different upbringings, everything. Okay, so um, take what resonates with you and go with that. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you for um, watching me and subscribing. Um, I will talk to you again soon. Oh, and I, <laughs> I finally remember to tell you guys this. Um, whoever gives me the most love tends to be moved up to the top of the list. Okay, that tends to be, I can't say it's a promise, I do whatever I want, but I tend to remember who loves me the most. I mean, I'm just saying, so I just thought I'd let you know if you want to get in on that little whatever it is, feel free.